What's up you guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a what I wish I knew before going to college at Seton Hall video because personally myself, I always wondered what another student thought about the school before going, but I never really thought to actually look it up on YouTube. I'm not really sure why. I guess because when I was going into college, I wasn't really into YouTube as much as I am now, so I didn't, even though I knew there was videos out there, I didn't think in my head to actually look on YouTube and figure it out, but I know that of hearing other people's decision and experience would have helped me out so much and may have even changed my decision. So I'm going to be telling you some things that I picked up going to Seton Hall and just things in general you should know about college that I think will be very beneficial for anyone starting out. So this is like advice to freshmen or transfer students or anything that are going to Seton Hall or just need college advice. So before I get started, I do also want to mention that I am doing a giveaway. So my giveaway is actually so easy to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the post notification bell. And as a bonus, you could follow me on Instagram. I'll have it on the screen and just tag three friends and you will be entered. And if you tag the three friends and follow me on Instagram, I will put you like in my raffle when I pick it out twice so once I hit 500 subscribers I will be telling you guys who won and yeah I will be giving away a Marc Jacobs brand new eyeshadow palette a $25 Starbucks gift card plus a Christmas um, Starbucks cup and a $25 Sephora gift card to three different people so if you want to enter just subscribe to my channel and comment when done okay now, if you want to see all my tips, just keep watching. I'm going to be like looking down a lot because I wrote a huge list on things that I want to talk about. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is college is different than high school. And what I mean by this is there's harder classes, there's... You know, like in high school, a lot of people would just wait until the last minute to do things. And where that's okay in high school, in college, if you do that, you will find yourself so stressed out. The workload kind of gets thrown at you all at once. So personally, right now, I'm a sophomore in college at Seton Hall. And everything was going smooth in the beginning of the semester. And then all of a sudden, like, bam, everything gets thrown at you all at once. So it's really important to prepare in advance and space things out as much as you can. If you didn't know, in high school, teachers kind of assign homework very spaced out in a way and don't tell you what you have to do all at once. But in college, you actually get a syllabus. So if you space your time out and look at that syllabus in the beginning, I think that that could really help you guys because if I did that and once I started doing that, it helped me so much. Also, just a little side note, I'm sorry if you hear like cars driving by, that's because I'm at school right now waiting to go to class and people keep staring at me, but we're just gonna keep talking through it. Um, my second tip, and I cannot emphasize this enough, use Rate My Professor when you're registering for classes. So I know for some universities, they register your first year of classes for you, but if they don't and you have an opportunity to choose your classes, use Rate My Professor. Personally, I did not use Rate My Professor until my sophomore year and I regret it so much because I don't wanna say that my professors were bad. It's just me personally, I need to have a professor that I could like connect with and understand very well. And if I, I know if now that if I used Rate My Professor, I would have done so much better because once I started doing it, I realized what a great tool it was. And my grades and my experience in school actually raised because when you're not stressed and when you can easily go talk to a professor about a grade or something, you will have a better semester. And basically, if you don't know what Rate My Professor is, it's basically students giving reviews on the professor and it goes from like one to five rankings and whether they would take that professor again my next tip and I can't stress this one enough either is get involved so if you're going to Seton Hall Seton Hall has um, 
activity fairs and career fairs and I cannot stress this enough please get involved whether it's in a sorority um, in a club in career events in sports like get involved because your first year of college you will realize that if you don't dorm especially for me because I didn't dorm it's really hard to make friends um because you know like you're only really there for school and just like getting involved in things makes you have more relationships with people and makes you feel more like social so I do recommend that because my freshman year I did feel a little lonely because I felt like everyone had friends that lived here but at least the people that I know like we would say like oh my god I only have like three friends and I know like it's not about the number of friends you have it's about the like quality of a person they are but still like seeing everyone have so many friends it kind of like gets at my self-esteem every once in a while and it's a lot better now like now I have so many friends and I'm planning on joining a sorority so I just wanted to recommend that so you guys can avoid going through the same thing that I did um the next thing I want to say is try not to buy your textbooks from the your school store unless you absolutely need to there's a lot of bookstores like Barnes and Noble or even your school store that will rent them and honestly when you pay for them full price it is so overly expensive and it's honestly like mind-blowing sometimes and then it's and you could easily just rent them and I know that's hard because sometimes you like to write in your books and stuff like that but I know Barnes and Noble um, at least where I'm from allows you to rent books and highlight them so I would check that out if you can the other thing is like I said try to make friends quickly in your small classes and within your major because this could help you out when you're choosing classes in the future and when you are um, needing some help with classes and especially as a commu commuter it's really good to have those connections because then if you ever need help you could just be like hey you want to meet up on campus or like if they're from or close to your town hey you want to go to Starbucks and like do this project we have to do so I think that's really beneficial it helped me out a lot once I actually started to make friends okay this next one is for Seton Hall specifically based on what I know Seton Hall makes you buy an unlimited meal plan when you live at the school and personally I think this is very not fair because they're basically making you pay so much more for a meal plan and yes I know you have to eat but let's be honest a lot of people order like pizza go to Target and get candy and snacks like that so I just feel like them making you buy an unlimited meal plan is annoying when you could buy like a certain amount of swipes meal plan for a cheaper cost um my next really important tip is to try and plan out your day personally this helps me be more productive if because of the fact that i can physically see what i'm doing and every single thing i have to do in the day and this helps me out a lot with planning um to get everything done in college so i really do recommend that so at Seton hall there's this myth going around that the seal um on the campus it's like in the middle of what we call the green the myth is if you step on it you basically won't graduate when you're supposed to like you won't pass um no one steps on it to this day and if you do that does, as long as you go and touch this like statue you'll still pass that's the myth but if you didn't know that just avoid stepping on it um my next tip is if you have an interest in something, I would say like don't let anyone else influence that interest. If you really want to do something and think you could be good at something, like just do it. Like even right now I'm filming in front of people walking by me and it's uncomfortable, but in my opinion, it's better to try things out and see how you feel than just never trying and not knowing if you could succeed in it and not knowing if you actually have that interest in it. Um, my next tip, I would think every single person could relate to, your sleep schedule is so important in college, and I find myself not going to sleep until 3 a.m. sometimes, and then having to be up at 6 a.m., and personally, that may be my fault, because sometimes I am really unorganized, or wait till last minute to do school, or have like 8 a.m.s because I scheduled them, but at the same time, if you plan out your day and be more productive throughout your day, I think that a lot of times you could fix your sleep schedule because 
I mean, we're all stressed out and we all do need sleep at the end of the day. So just try to do that as best as you can. Okay, so my last couple tips are do not park your car on campus without a parking permit. I have had so much trouble with this. Seton Hall is so strict with parking permits. And along with that, the parking here, the spaces that you have to fit into are so tight and there is no room for all of the students. Like I have to get here an hour and a half early just to find parking sometimes because if I don't, then I won't find parking and can't go to my class. And there is a parking deck, but personally, I will not park in the parking deck because I do not like it at all. But even there, like the spaces are very um, tight and there's so many times where I'm with my friends and we go out to lunch and they have to park on the fifth floor of the parking deck and then sometimes still can't even find parking there. So that is a big annoying thing that happens in Seton Hall. Um, another thing that a lot of YouTubers say that I want to say because I really do believe it even though I don't personally live at my school, try to distinguish your work and sleep space because honestly, personally I think that when you do your homework in your bed, you know, like you could fall asleep or sometimes when you do your homework in your bed it's harder to fall asleep. So yeah, I recommend that. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Uh, I do like, I fidget when I feel awkward. So, and I don't feel awkward anymore talking to a camera, but people are literally staring at me. So sometimes I just like fidget. So if you see me doing that, that's why. And my last, but honestly, one of my most important tips is take care of yourself no matter the stress. Your mental health comes first. If you're failing a class because you put your mental health first, honestly, props to you. Because everyone who cares about their grades will put school over their mental health, no matter how stressed out they are or anything like that. And honestly, what I realize is when you put your mental health first, your grades and everything come after, even though they're so important to you and you actually perform better, at least in my experience. So if you take anything from this video, please put your mental health before your schoolwork and before your work day and everything because that is what I noticed will benefit each and every one of us the same. So yeah, those are my tips for Seton Hall incoming freshmen or transfer students and just freshmen and transfer students anywhere in any universities. So I hope this was very beneficial to you guys. Please let me know in the comments if it was and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to follow me on Instagram and enter my giveaway and comment down below if there's anything else you guys would like to see me film and I will certainly do it. Bye.